the light air of previous days at the 2023 World Match Racing Tour Final in Shenzhen, China, was replaced with a stiff 20-plus knots in a gray sky, setting the scene for a dramatic day of quarter-final knockout action. After the last of the eight qualifiers was decided, the winner of the round robin, Sweden's Björn Hansen, had first pick of his opponent and selected New Zealand's Megan Thompson. Can you please make a choice for the quarterfinals? Is this the rank or is it the quarterfinals? This, this is the rank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Megan. <laughs> if you were eight. We decided already yesterday that we should uh, pick the one uh, ending up eight in the round robin. And now it uh, showed out to be Megan and her team. Into the quarterfinals with Eric Manin from Switzerland, who had finished second in the round robin series with eight points, selecting Johnny Bernson from Sweden as his opponent, while perhaps a surprise for some as Britain's Ian Williams chose world number one Chris Poole from the USA, thus leaving the final pair of Nick Egnott Johnson from New Zealand against Gavin Brady representing USA. In the Bernson Manin contest, it took only two matches to decide who would advance to the semi finals, with the Swedes dominating from start to finish, continuing a remarkable run of results here in the city of Shenzhen that has seen them recover from near elimination in the round robin series to now reach the semi final stage. An astonishing performance. As expected, however, it was a fiery battle between Poole and Williams. These two super experienced teams have faced off countless times before on the tour, and they did not disappoint in the strengthening win with penalties and overtaking moves. With the pair tied at one win each, it all came down to the third and final deciding match, which was a cat and mouse chase all the way around the racetrack. On the final run to the finish, Williams was able to escape Poole's grasp and clinch a place in the semifinals. It was a crazy, crazy quarterfinal. We, we won two races and he won one, I guess is the difference. In the end, uh, anybody could have won. Honestly, my mind's blown. It's just been so many decisions today. Non-stop decisions, most of them wrong, but fortunately we got some right and it came good at the end. But the shock of the day was the Bjorn Hansen, Megan Thompson match. Hansen was undone by the Kiwi skipper, one win each. Then in the final match, an incident around the mark led to a dropped spinnaker on the Swedish boat, a nasty tangled kite around the keel, and a sensational win for Thompson, who becomes the first female skipper to reach an open world championship semi-final in the world match racing tour history. Yeah, it was a pretty tight quarters. Uh, we lost the first one uh, by quite a long way, actually. And then the second match was super, super tight. They got a penalty at the top mark and that, that kind of gave it to us towards the end, we managed to stay away from them. Uh, and then the third one, it was, it was all on on that, um, the last couple of beats. The final pairing of Nick Egnott Johnson from New Zealand and Gavin Brady of the USA sailed late in the day, and it was another masterful display. Gavin Brady eclipsing the Kiwi team in the gusty winds, taking a 2-0 victory. Really relieved, actually, because I, you know, I thought this was going to be a really tough match. I mean, he's, uh, he won the World Championships last year for a good reason, but uh, went our way. The guys did a fantastic job. I kind of felt we had a small speed edge. Uh, don't know where it came from, but uh, I think it's just something we've been working on all week. So um, that was sort of uh, feels good going into the finals um, or semis with good speed. It was a day of contrasting fortunes, but sets up a tantalizing battle tomorrow, the final day where the 2023 World Match Racing Tour Champion will be crowned here in Shenzhen.